Hello friends, welcome to my channel, The Invisible Maths Teacher. Today we are moving on to construction part of the chapter circles. So let us proceed. Here the question is, to draw a rectangle of sides 5 cm and 3 cm and then to draw another rectangle having same area and one side 7 cm. So let us proceed. Here first what we have to do is, we have to draw the original measurement, original rectangle. Okay, so here I am going to draw 5 cm side, then take the protractor, you know the side, uh, all the angles of a rectangle are 90 degree. So here first I have to mark my 90 degree, just draw the line very lightly. Okay, then on the other end also take 90 degree. draw a very light line now take 3 centimeter in your compass 3 centimeter keep here and give a cut like this okay and keep the compass here also and give a cut now you can see here this is our original rectangle of sides 3 cm and 5 cm. So now I am going to mark here A, B, C, D. This is 5 and 3 cm. Now just extend this baseline AB. Extend the line. Now what you have to do is place the compass at B, measure this length and just give a cut here like this, just give a cut, see, see, it will be going like this actually, just showing, okay, just give a cut here and mark this point as E, E, now you have to extend this line, so our rectangle part, original rectangle part is over. Now what we have to do is just extend this line. How much? 7 cm. So now I am going to draw 7 cm line here. You can see here is from 0 to 7. See? 0 to 7 cm measurement. Mark that point as F. Okay. Now join AF. And EF. Okay. Now take the compass. Find the perpendicular bisector of this line AF. That is, keep the uh, compass at F. Take more than half of this line. We don't know till where it will be. So take, just take more than half of this line and just draw an arc up and down. Then again place the compass here at A and draw up and down what you do is you just join that line intersecting line okay very lightly now moving on to this line EF take the perpendicular bisector of this line or oh, see I am changing the compass measurements you can see here now what you do is take more than half of this line okay more than half just draw an arc up and down then place the compass at E and just cut that arc like this, see, very lightly. Okay, then join that two lines like this. Here you can see these two lines, they intersect at one point. You can take that point as O. O, okay. Now keep the compass at O and take O as the radius. See, OA is the radius or OE is the radius. Let it be any, any one. Okay, either OA is the radius or OE as the radius. You can take any one and just draw the semicircle like this. See, okay, semicircle. Now we know this line from B to F. The line is seven centimeters. That is our length of one 
uh, uh, the second rectangle right one side of the second rectangle now how can we find the breadth of that new rectangle we know the length of that new rectangle is 7 centimeter then the length sorry the breadth of that new rectangle will be just find out this measurement see here you can see one point like this g meeting point g just measure that with the compass from this point b to g that is where the semicircle or the circle is touching the rectangle okay see like this just measure measure this new one and give a cut here you know this is one side of the rectangle just give a cut here and here also give a cut like this see now what to do now we got this length and this length now we know this is 7 centimeter take your compass measure your 7 centimeter place here and give a cut like this see so if you join it see if you join this will be your new rectangle you can see here so if you want i'll just highlight it and show you this is your new rectangle this part here this is your new rectangle whose length is 7 centimeters and if you want you can give any particular name for this one side is already b here we have point f then g is there so you can mark h and i so finally you can write b f h i is the required rectangle okay yes children now moving on to the second question again to draw a rectangle of sides 5 centimeter and 3 centimeter then to draw a square of same area okay so first we have to draw the rectangle as we did before 5 centimeter and 3 centimeter yes 5 then taking the protractor okay 90 degree just draw a very light line here like this and here also 90 degree very light line now we want 3 centimeter only so here with the compass I am going to measure my 3 centimeter see you can see here 3 centimeter okay give a cut like this and here also cut now we have to form the rectangle like this one second side i'm just highlighting it okay drawing it dark so here we got our rectangle a b c d 5 centimeter 3 5 and 3 now we have to extend this line as we did before okay now again with the compass place the compass at b we know this is already here in my compass just give a cut here e and mark this new point as e okay now consider this a e as the line we have to consider only this a e place the compass first at a see now a e is our line we know somewhere here is the middle part of this a e okay so just take more than half of it more than half means somewhere like this and give a cut up and down similarly place it e also just give a cut like this see okay now very lightly you can join that line also very light line now you can see here there is one point this is our o point okay point o now what to do just 
place the compass at O. Measure your O A. See O A. Okay. Or O E. Anything. Both are same. Only O A. You can see here. You can just draw a semicircle. See. Perfect. Now, what you do? You have the junction here B point. From there, you just extend the line up to the circle like this. This line, new point A, B, C, D, E is there. So mark it as F. So now your this line will be one side of the square. Now what to do? We have to complete the square. Actually, we got one side of the square like this. Like this. One side of the square we got. Now we have to get these two sides. For that, what to do? Just place the composite B and to measure this part. Measure this part and give a cut like this. Down and give a cut here. Up. Okay. So now we want this part. Right. How can we do that? From this point give a cut don't change the measurement why because this is a square having equal sides then just you highlight it like this on the side and here also okay so here we got the square you can see all the sides are of equal measurement see all the sides are of equal measurement see okay then you can mark f is there g h so if you want i can just highlight it and show you this is the square we obtained from the rectangle see Okay, and finally you can write B H G F is the required square. Okay, and uh, please, children, let me tell you one more thing. After writing, finding A E. Please don't get confused. Don't mark the square from here to here. You always extend the line. It doesn't matter if you extend more also. No problem. Okay. E first you have to find equal to BC. Then take the perpendicular bisector O. Then place the composite O and draw the semicircle. Whatever be the length here you are getting that should be the length here. Okay. Please don't try to complete the square from point E. Just check where your new point is there. You should mark that point itself. And let me tell you one more thing. First better place the compass here for getting the perpendicular bisector. Then place the compass at E. Cut up and down. Join the line. Then place the compass here at O. That is our third point. Okay. First place the compass here. Cut up and down. Then place at E. Up and down. Then you join the line. Then place the compass at O to draw the semi circle okay yes children if you find this video useful please do share subscribe and press on the bell icon for getting the notifications thank you